Today I'm going to give you my top five reasons to visit Nashville, Indiana, especially if you're at Indiana University visiting for a student activity or just in Bloomington in general, you don't want to miss Nashville. So stay tuned, coming right up. I'm Wendy Kohlmeyer with B-Town Realtors and today I'm going to give you my five best reasons to not miss visiting Nashville, Indiana. So Nashville, Indiana is also known as Brown County. It's in the heart of Brown County and Nashville was established in the late 1800s as an artist colony but didn't really get going until the early 1900s when renowned painter T.C. Steele moved here because of its close proximity to Indiana University and he became the artist in residence there. So that's when it all started happening. There are little log cabins, which Nashville's kind of known for, sprinkled throughout town and around the town and in the hills of Brown County. So that's kind of cool. If you're thinking about moving to Bloomington, it's only 20 minutes from the east side. And if you want a little bit of land and a log cabin type feel, now there's other houses obviously, but Nashville's kind of known for its rugged log cabin-ish feel. So you want to check that out. There's not a lot on the market in Nashville, but it's it's a popular place. And because of the easy drive to Bloomington or on the other side, Columbus, and also a straight shot up to Indy, it's a popular spot. First thing you don't want to miss are the art galleries. And they are all throughout downtown. And there are some artists that have their own studios at their houses that they open them up for different uh, gallery walks and things like that. So you absolutely want to check out the art while you're in Nashville and you can buy pieces or prints, things like that. But there's also a lot of um, clay artists and just different type of artists throughout the town of Nashville. And you also want to check out the gift shops, which has local artisans on display there, whether it be jewelry or clay or furniture or paintings or log furniture. Anything that you can imagine, you can pretty much find in Nashville. Even t-shirts and <laughs> things like that. So restaurants. There are a ton of restaurants in Nashville and there's pizza restaurants and sandwich shops. And my very favorite restaurant is the Bird's Nest Cafe. And it's located off the main drag, easily walkable to everything. But they have a very cool restaurant with signature dishes and they have the Hen House Bar. They have an amazing weekend brunch and breakfast and they're also open for lunch and they're open on the weekends for dinner. So you definitely want to check that place out. It's very eclectic and cute and the food is great. They have vegan and vegetarian dishes as well as many dishes for the carnivore. So they also have different kinds of craft drinks. You're not going to find your Diet Coke there, but you will find craft sodas or Bloody Marys. They make an amazing Bloody Mary when they have uh, different types of kombucha on tap and it's just a really fun place to go. So you want to check that out. Now they also have Hard Truth Distillery, which was founded in 2015 over a pizza shop and they expanded from that little place and they now own 325 acres about three minutes from downtown Nashville and they have an 18,000 square foot distillery that you can take tours through. They also give guided ATV tours through their big woods there and you can do all kinds of experiences to find out about their distilling process and and what they make there. They have this large restaurant and bar there and then they also have an outdoor event stage and concert series in the summer that's really pretty cool. Definitely want to see that and they have um, a shop there where you can buy of their alcohol that they make and some of the alcohol is 
toasted coconut rum, cinnamon vodka, peanut butter whiskey, chocolate malt, sweet mash rye whiskey, and numerous other things that they've come up with that is very popular. So you definitely want to see that. And they also have a cabin that you can rent out for the weekend or whatever, but it's a big event place. So definitely want to check that out. And if you don't drink, they have many food items and kid-friendly as well. So that's a good thing. My favorite reason for coming to Brown County is the Brown County State Park, which happens to be Indiana's largest state park and hosts a variety of hiking and mountain bike trails throughout. It's roughly 16,000 acres and was dubbed the Little Smoky Mountains because of its resemblance to the Big Smoky Mountains, right? It's got rugged hills and deep ravines. People come for its fall colors, which are amazing. And you can get out on these vistas. And also you want to climb the fire tower there because you can have a 360 degree view of all of Brown County and it's absolutely amazing in the fall. Now, Brown County Park is only about three minutes outside of downtown Nashville. So it's something that you don't wanna miss. But if you are coming in the fall, it's very, very crowded and you need to make reservations to stay early. Brown County has the Abe Martin Lodge that's been remodeled, it's very nice. They have a restaurant there, some other things, and then they have uh, cabins that have all been remodeled and updated, sprinkled around in throughout the park. So you can, you can go from primitive camping to kind of a rough camping to a really nice modern camping, and or you can stay at the hotel, but it's very, scenic and something you don't want to miss. Another thing that they have are they offer hay rides, which are really fun, and they offer trail rides, and you can pick how long your trail ride is. They have horses and are very active with that throughout the summer months. If you like this video, you want to check out my next video, which is the five best reasons to move to Bloomington, Indiana. Please like and subscribe a new video every week and I hope to see you back.